Hey everybody, welcome back to Crafting on a Budget. We are here again to make another project using the Prima 31 Halloween um, paper by Frank Garcia. You can get this paper very easily at craftingonabudgetstore.com. She has the whole line. She has all of the journaling cards, all the different sizes of the paper. She has um, all of the little wonderful charms. There's, I chose the witch's hats, but there's haunted houses. I think there's might be a ghost. I'm not sure, but um, she has the whole line, so you will not be disappointed, and you can't go wrong with any of this. And if you're like me, I don't do scary Halloween. Um, that's just not my thing. So when this line came out, I fell in love with it because it has a, a lot of vintage pieces to it. It's got a lot of pink, which I love. So it's very shabby chic. It's totally different than any other Halloween paper pad. So if you've always said, I don't really do Halloween, I don't do Halloween projects, you might want to change your mind with this one only because it is totally, totally awesome. And I would hate for you to miss out on doing these fun projects. But also keep in mind that any project I do, you can do with any kind of paper. I mean, May just got in the Chow Bella Christmas lines. I mean, they're just to die for. And any of these projects would work perfectly with any kind of paper. So don't just look at this project and say, oh, I can't make it because it's Halloween. Um, think of it with red and christmas um themes however you you know however you want to do it but i'm telling you you will really really like this paper if you love halloween or if you love anything shabby chic so with that said we're going to start our project and like with the other project i have um done some things but i've stepped it out and marked it so that you understand it and it's very easy the first thing you need is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So mine is cut, but I put it back together so you can see we're starting with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then what you want to do is cut this 12 by 12 to 8 by 12. So there is that. So now here's our 12, our 8 by 12, 8 inches wide by 12 inches tall. And then now we have this four inch piece. On this four inch piece, we're going to cut one four by six and a quarter. That's going to be our cover. So I've cut that. Then we're going to have this extra piece here and we're going to hold on to this in case we want to put tags in this book. So I'm just, I just wrote on there extra for tags and I'll put that to the side for your cover. You are going to score at three and three and three quarters on your six and a quarter side. This is going to give us our cute little cover. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my bone folder and May has bone folders in the store if you need one um, and just score it. Oop, that was a little bit off. I just want to score it nice. Okay. So this is going to be our little cover. And as you can see, we have like a little quarter inch area there, you know, for the spine. Okay. So that's number one. Now this piece that we cut down to eight by 12, what we do is we take this piece and we put it into our scoreboard and we put it in at the 12 inch mark. Okay, not the eight inch, so the 12 inch. And we're going to score at three, six, nine. Very easy. Just three scores, three, six, nine. Then we're going to turn it on our scoreboard. And now we have this eight inch piece and we're going to score it straight down the middle at four inches. Okay, so again, on the 12 inch side of our piece of paper, we're going to score at three, six, nine, and then we're going to turn our paper, rotate it in our um, scoreboard. And if you don't have a scoreboard, you can use a ruler with a um, scoring thing. Some people I've even seen use butter knives. Um, so 
you don't have to have a scoring tool if you don't but if you would like one i'm sure may has those in her store as well and then on the eight inch side we score right down the middle now this is the only tricky part of this whole thing is that you want to then make one cut <laughs> and the cut is going to go from the bottom of the paper actually let's flip this the cut is going to go from the top of the paper to, down to nine inches so the final score mark is where you're going to stop cutting you're not going to cut beyond this score line right here and i don't know if you can see that but i'm going to separate it now and now you can really see where i have cut down to i've cut through three six nine ended up on my final score line and stopped my paper trimmer must be needing a new blade because it's a little fuzzy but that's okay so now you see how we have that so it kind of looks almost like a v um, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to prep our pages so we're going to prep all of where we scored on the 369 I like to you know move my paper around and you know make sure it all lines up and you know see look at even when you score sometimes it just doesn't line up perfectly and that's why I like to go back make any adjustments if I have to with my paper yes. I may just have to cut that we'll see we'll see as we go and here we go yeah I might just have to cut that um because everything else is lining up pretty good except my two covers so it must not have been scored properly but that's okay I'm not going to worry about it right now because it's very forgiving this project all right so now you have your score your you know your paper prepped and scored now you have this piece and you're probably saying how is this going to be made into a book it's so simple and when you do it once you will you will get it immediately and you'll say oh my gosh this is so cute because these would make i'm telling you and we will be making this again because i am going to make these with the christmas paper these will make absolutely so stinking adorable ornaments to hang on your tree but anyway getting back to how this becomes a book you're going to hold it you're going to hold it like this you're going to actually like set it up on your desk like this okay so all we did was set it up on our desk like that you're going to smush this in see how that looks like a diamond you're going to smush the diamond in and then this page is going to come here this page is going to come here then we have our cover our, our back cover and our cover do you see how easy that is i mean is that not stinking easy again i'm going to show it again just so that you, we all know how to do it we have it facing the 12 inches that's how it's oriented on my desk i'm going to fold it in half and then once you fold it in half you're going to grab the two ends and you're going to see that you have this diamond shape right there you're going to push it in there's a page there's a page back cover front cover that's it easy peasy lemon squeezy i always wanted to say that i never said that on any of my videos now what happens with this well let's talk about what we have left before we put it into our wonderful little um, cover if you notice as you go through your second page this is how it's going to look when it's in the, the spine your second page can be a pocket page you can put a little um, glue on the bottom and you could stick a tag in there if you would like your middle page could be a side pocket page you can put glue on the bottom and then you would have your pocket on the side going here you could put a tag here if you would like and then this page again you could make it a pocket page this is too big obviously but 
you're getting where I'm going with that. So you can decide if you would like to have any pockets on that, or if you don't, you can just glue them shut. Now what I'm going to do is, here we go, art glitter glue time. Um, I'm going to use my art glitter glue. I'm going to give it a shake. Just because you know what happened the last time I the, I really think I was squeezing too hard just so you guys know I don't really think it's necessary for me to sh keep shaking this but I am just in case all right so with that being said my first page is my cover so I'm not doing anything with that but this one here I'm going to on my second page put some glue on the bottom okay and that way if I decide to put a tag in it the tag is not going to come flying out the bottom of my book now the next page is this side piece and I don't want a side pocket at all so what I'm going to do for this page is I'm going to actually seal this up completely. So I'm going to seal the side and I'm going to seal the bottom. Now you might like a cute little tag sticking out the side there. I don't want a tag on the side, so I'm going to leave it like that. And then my final page could be another tag. So I am going to glue the bottom of that one because I might decide that I want to put a tag in there. So if I do, it's ready to go and nothing is going to slip out. Okay. Now you can decorate this before it goes in there. You can decorate it after it goes in there. It's up to you. I think what I'm going to do is decorate it before it goes in. You can also use a 12 by 12 pattern sheet of paper um just be mindful of the direction of the pattern that's the only problem with this is the direction of the pattern now i was thinking this measures exactly three by four but i was thinking that maybe i still could kind of squeeze my journal cards onto this um because they're rounded and i was thinking that would be so cute and I think I can. I think I might have to shave a little bit off with my scissors. Um, do I want to do that? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know now. Now I'm like, uh, I was going to use those. Now I might change my, my plan. Yeah, I don't know. I would have to cut them down. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to save those and I think I'm going to use some pattern paper and cut it down, um, which I should have been more prepared, but I'm not. So we'll just, you know how we go. We just wing it. <laughs> it's not a problem. Not a problem at all. So if the measurements are three by four, let's think about this. Then we want our papers to be two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So, and that will give us a nice um, little black border around them. So that's how we're gonna do this. I'm trying to get the blade, it fell in my box here. Hold on one second. Where did you go? There it is. All right, let me put that back in. So I said two and three quarters. So let's see, two and three quarters. By three and three quarters. Let's see how we like that. Yeah, that looks good. That's going to be nice and we'll have a border around it and then we could put some things on top of those. Okay, so let's see how many we need because we don't need one for this because this is going to get glued into the cover. So we need one, two, 
What happened here? Did something stick? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need eight. All right. We could do it. Again, two and three quarters. Yeah. Three and three. That doesn't sound right. Three and three quarters. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to cut two of these because I want to use the other side of this as well. Three and three quarters. Okay, so now I have that. And then we have our little ghosts, which I love. So two and three quarters. I'm using a Fiskars cutter, in case you're wondering. Um, three and three quarters. We already have that on the back of one, so we won't use that. Hmm. Why did this cat somehow for the cover? But I might have to go to the six by six pad for that, so that's okay. Um, but let's see. And here's a smaller piece of the brooms I can cut. Three and three quarters. Okay. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm wondering, I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to see if I can cut these down a little and see how they look. So let's just, I just want to cut this strip. This is from the 12 by 12 paper pack. And I want to see how big this is. Wow. That's two and three quarters. Oh, this might work. Let's see, three and three quarters. So I'd have to cut off some of the spider webs on that. That's okay. So there we go. And now this guy, I'm going to cut him out completely. And then we'll see where we go with him. Let's see, three and three quarters. It's going to cut off some of the candy, but I don't care about that. I like him. So we'll keep him like that. And then the ghost, three and three quarters. We're just taking a little bit off the bottom. So that's not bad. So we're able to utilize these. Do we have enough yet? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight, but then we need a cover as well. Um, and what I might do for the cover is I might use this 31. Um, I would have to trim it a little bit. So let's see, I'm gonna trim, trim one side. And then two and three quarters, trim the other side. And then three and a quarter, three and three quarters, sorry. Three and three quarters. I do like the 31 for the cover. Okay, so we have our cover. And then we do need one for the back. You don't have to put one on the back, but I do like the back having something. So let's make this cut a little bit off each side of this one. I want to use the back piece. In fact, I might change this. So we'll see. Two and three quarters. And then we want three and three quarters. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is my back cover is going to be this one because it's kind of bland. I'd rather have these in the, in the inside. Okay, well, a little change up there, a little unexpectedness, but that's okay. Sorry about that. I really wanted to have it all done and ready to roll for you, but that wasn't the case. So anyway, not a problem. We just adjust, right? That's how we roll. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay, so let's start 
by gluing in our pages. So let's do that. Oh, I said I wanted this one first. Oh no, there we go. I think I need a, this glue I've had for, this glue bottle I've had for a long time. And I think I need a new tip. All right, so here we go, little my boo. So cute. And then put the brooms by him. Could have used that side too. I didn't even think of it with the pumpkin patch, but that's all right. We still have more projects to do with this paper, so I'm not really worried about it. Okay. And then I want my little thing we've got left here. And put this one over here. And I apologize for the sun coming in. It's just happens to be the time of the day that I can film and the sun is coming in, but there we go. All right, I have these. Oh, wait a second, where's the, oh, my glitter one I did put aside. I wanted to make sure I didn't need glue that. There we go, put our little kitty cat. I love this cat. It says all the candy. So cute. And then maybe this one and that one. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. And guys, you can do this however you want. But where did you, where do you see how cute it looks when it's in the, I mean, it's just a cute little book. That's all I could say. But imagine taking pictures of your family members, putting them in something like this and giving that, ooh, as a Christmas gift, you know, having them all hanging on the tree and each one has the cover of the person and they get to just take their ornament with them. I said, like, I think of things like that because I love doing things like at people's place settings and, you know, stuff like that. So when I do this kind of stuff, I'm always thinking like, oh, what else could I use that for? You know, mm, that would be sweet. That would look cute, you know. So think of it like that too. Don't limit yourself, you know. I'm using paper, but you can use pictures. I mean, even if you had Project Life cards, you could cut those down too. I know those were all the rage. Well, how long ago was that? But they were all the rage. All right. So now we have our little book. So stinking adorable. Okay. And now we're going to put it in our cover. Now I just want to make sure... That I'm, I might have to trim the edges a little bit. Yeah, remember I said that it was it was odd how this was this was a little off. It's weird. It fits the back cover, but it doesn't fit the front. I wonder if I switch it. So that, yeah. Hmm. And then I could just trim this piece if I want to or trim it down a little bit, but I'd rather trim that down than the front cover. Okay, so what you're going to do next is you're going to close your glue. <laughs> I always forget to do that. I wish that you guys could yell at me and say, close your glue. Um, I am awaiting my shipment from May. So I'm using a score tape that I really don't like to use, but I'm using it because I have it, um, but really there is a difference in score tapes. I know people will say, oh, no, I don't, I don't see a difference. There is, trust me, there is. For something this little, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm very excited to be getting the score tape that I love, and that is the, I guess it's called soup. Queen, Su Kwong, something like that. It's score tape um, and it comes in different sizes. I like to get the quarter inch. That's the one I use for 
almost everything I do. So that's the one I have um, coming from May. And she has it in other sizes as well. So you'll be happy to have that the right score tape because <laughs> like I said it does make a difference so let's take our tape off and decide if we want to put a little okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cover and I'm going to line it up actually I'm going to give myself a little bit of glue on the tape because it will actually give me a little bit of wiggle room. So if this sticks down and it's not in the right place, I'm not going to be wrecking it up. I can just pull it off. So this is the, I just want to line it up. Very easy. Line your cover up best as you can it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect and then we're going to wrap this around and we're going to put tape on this side and then you'll see when i tape it i'm going to have a little bit of hangover and i'll have to trim that a little bit so i may have to pick this up and move it i'm not sure and that's not going to be fun but that's okay um what i'm going to do is i'm going to put tape on this side instead of on the book because I know that the book is going to overlap a little bit. So we'll put the tape on the cover this time instead of the actual pages. But yeah, this is just a fun little project. It's not, um, not anything major, but it is so cute. Let's see here. And you could put your ATC card. Uh, let me use my little pick. It's easier to use this than my fingers. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to wrap this around my book i'm going to pull it as much as i can yeah that actually worked out perfect i don't have to cut anything look it look it look it is that not adorable it is so cute all right let's get our 31 on i have to have this on Mm, now I'm thinking, do I want to do something like this and then something on a pop-up? Yes, I do. It's a good thing there's a lot of journaling cards. <laughs> so I can use another 31 at some some other point. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking oh, it might be cute to have something um, really sweet like popped up. And then remember we had this star for the back. So let's do that. So one for the back. And you even want to put a little thing on the back too. Like I like this little, I'm looking at this lady already and I'm saying, oh, it should be cute on the back. Now, let me just fussy cut this out. And yes, I do fussy cut with my big scissors. And I actually think it's easier. Yeah, I like her. Just put her on the back in case you want to tuck something behind her. So I think I'm just going to glue the bottom on her in case you want to make it a little tucked. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think you'd want anything tucked on the back. Scratch that idea. Scratch that one and just put her centered in the back here. But now what I would really like is this 
this guy and he's going to be too big but i have the six by six and see this is what is so great about having other sizes because if i didn't have another size i wouldn't be able to use it oh you know what i could do mm, i could put now let's see pull that one out i don't think i'm going to use the cat i think i might use hmm. let's see i do like that i put a spell on you or all the pumpkins i do love this cat guys i'm just obsessed with this cat but i think he's too almost too little on the um I'll show it to you. On the 6x6, six six, he's almost a little bit too small for this cover. I was kind of looking for something bigger. So you see what I mean? It's it's too little. That's too small. That's too big. So, well, wait a second. Maybe I have it in these journaling cards. Let's see what we have here. All the pumpkins. Wicked. 31. No. All right, let me have a little think for a second here of what I want. I do like that I put a spell on you. It says my pumpkin. It's like a tag. Okay. Let me cut this out first because I'm having a little think. You guys know how that goes. For those of you who don't know me, you'll see that I do this constantly. Have a little think of things. I'm just cutting it like a tag would be cut. I have actually probably a tag scissors somewhere, but I don't have to worry about that right now. All right, so let's see. Hey, pumpkin. And then... Hmm. Still can't decide. I do like the bingo card. The bingo card is so cute. I think we have to use the bingo card. Because it's sweet. So let me cut this out and we'll see. But this is what's fun about these little books. I mean, can you just imagine this in a Christmas theme or with pictures? You know, it's so funny. I have all these. Oh, maybe I can make it like a tuck spot and put a couple of things in there ah that might be like a nut idea even better um but you know how it is guys it's always so nice to have something personal you know that somebody made for you i love getting homemade gifts there's a 31 Okay, there's our hay pumpkin. I don't like that edge. That's going to bother me, so I have to strain that out. I did not like that. <laughs> oh, no surprise there. And then we need maybe one more little guy. One more. Mm, oh, this little cat is so cute. Let's use him. I wasn't planning on making this a little tuck spot, but there you have it. That's what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. So I'm going to put glue on the side. 
bottom and the side. I thought that was going to fall. I'm just going to stick this right here. Let that dry before I fill it. Okay. Well, I didn't do too, too good of a job in lining that up, but that's all right. I don't worry about things like that. I used to. Not anymore. Look at look at how cute. You know I'm gonna say how stinking cute because it is so stinking cute. Uh we might even want to put a flower on this. I don't know yet. Um unless we want to make do we want to make two tags and then have some paper covering the tags and have flowers on the top of the tags for the pull. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking. All right. So we know we need two and three quarters is the widest we can get. No, two and three quarters is the widest we can go because we don't want this getting stuck on the tape. And let's do one more, two and three quarters. Okay. So here could be our tags. And then, oh, we're going to need paper to cover them. Hold up. How long are these? Oh, these are by four. We got to trim these down to three and three quarters as well. Or else they're not going to fit. <laughs> that would be a problem. They'd really be sticking out three and three quarters, which isn't. Now, I'm going to use the flower idea. I like the flower idea. All right, so so they're the same size as that. So now we need to cut two more background pieces for our tags. And I'm going to just use this paper here because I do love this. So two and three quarters. I'm trying to level this off. Two and three quarters. All right three and three quarters and then let's make this one three and three quarters and we're going to use the back of this one okay here we go why doesn't that look right oh wow did i oh i measured the mat the same why did i do that hmm Well, I don't know if I want to cut these down so that we have the black. I think I am going to cut these down. Sorry about that, guys. So this was, so we'll do this at two and a half by three and a half because that's one and three quarters, so three and a half. I want these to look matted, so... We'll do it that way. And then that should fit on there. And then we can pull this off. This we want to be three and a half. And we want this to be two and a half. Okay. Oh, yeah. Much better. So now let's glue these on to our tags. And you could have made these traditional tag shapes. If you have a die cut, you can use your um, die cutter to um, make tags. Some people have tag punches. Um, but I think that I'm, the way I'm going to glue the flower, the flower is going to be like the stopper. So I think it's going to be okay. So I'm not going to need like a ribbon, you know, to pull this in and out. And we, although we could put a ribbon, but I don't know. Let's see how the, the idea of the flower works. Because I'd really like to use that idea if it works. Mm -hmm. See? 
a little off kilter there, but with the art glitter glue, it dries pretty fast too, just letting you know. Hmm. I might have to add more glue. Yeah, this this glue dries very fast, which I like when you're doing scrapbooking stuff, but sometimes it's a little too fast for me. A little too fast. Okay. All right. So now let me see. Let me see what my flowers. This is my bin. My bin of goodies. No, I, want, I know I want a pink flower. Maybe an orange flower. Okay. I still have some cute little ephemera pieces too. I'm just seeing if I want to add anything more to this front cover. Yeah. Because this really kind of doesn't go good with it, even though it's the 31. It's just, it blends in. So let's do a bunch of them. Let's do that many. That's good. Okay, now let's see how we're going to do this. See, this flower is not as squished down as I would like. I like to glue it so it's like that, like half. See, these flowers are better for, for what I want to do because it's, let me see. See what I mean? I think I might need to get a squishier flower. Oh, that one'd be cute. Hmm. Running low on my flowers. I love the flowers. I love Prima's flowers so much. I really do. I just love them. Now I'm gonna put a lot of glue on here because this is gonna have to stick out and people are gonna be pulling the pulling it by the flower. So, there's that. And then let's add this one. And then I'll show you how we're going to tie, tie it together. Oh, I want to add my witch charm too. I don't want to forget that, my witch's hat. Yep. All right. So, let's just let these hang by themselves for a little bit. Um, because I do want to put my little hat charm on and I want to show you how I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to show you, um, a cute little way to, to close it. You could close it with a ribbon, but I think I might use elastic. We'll see. But let me get my little bulb pin. May has these in her store. And this is going to connect my, um, cute little witch's hat to the side of my book. Now, just imagine this, guys, with jingle bells on the side of the book. I'm going to try to find the middle. I have to poke a hole. So let me get my little pokey tool. These are actually, I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to poke a hole, like right there. And where is it going to go through the middle there? Actually, I don't even need to go all the way through because there's that little gap in there because of the spine we created. So let's see if I even need to poke all the way through. I don't think I do. Oh my gosh, this is going to be too cute. Too cute. Tomorrow we're going to be making an accordion card. I mean, an accordion book, just so you know, in case you're wondering what's happening. Uh, let me put my hat on first. 
and then where's my little hole yeah I don't have to go through all the pages I can just go through that little sp spot oh my gosh guys <laughs> it's so cute I can't stand it oh my gosh I can't take it I love everything little I know I everything little is so cute I do love doing big books too and we are going to do a big book um probably not with the 31 but we're definitely going to do a big book for Christmas and that will probably have to be done in stages because I think it's going to be just way too overwhelming to try to do it in one video. So just so you know, um, look it, look it. I love it. I love it. I can even go down a little bit more in there. Just have a little bit of the flower. I could go down to like there. Oh, that's so cute. And then here we go. Put our next one in. Guys, look at how sweet. And then what we could do is take elastic. Now, if you had a rubber band for, for your hair that was a thin one, not a thick one, you could probably use one of those. Um, but I'm just using elastic. I'm going to figure out like how tight I want to make it. Probably like to there and then I'm going to hmm, not going to be enough room to do what I thought I was going to be able to do so I'll just have to tie it in a knot and then I'll tie it in another knot should have cut it a little bit longer and I could have done what I wanted to oh this elastic is not tying okay I might have to cut a bigger piece so that I could do what I want to do. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, let's cut it to there. Because I want it to be, I don't want it to be that snug. Now, which is the new piece? Oh, wow. I can cut it. <laughs> that long that's weird i want it to be snug but not too snug so let's see what we could do here there we go all right and then i'm going to cut these two edges off as much as i can to the knot and then i'm going to put a piece of seam binding there a little bow because everything's better with a bow and I kind of want it to be like hmm I'm trying to think how I want it to be I'll probably put two bows I probably need to cut that but I'll see so let's see here I'm going to put it close to this knot once I'm done. Or I might just leave them. Leave one dangle and make one a bow. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. With two dangles and one a bow. I think that's what I'm going to do. Two dangles and one bow. And I think the bow... I'm going to have to get up for a second because I think I want the bow to be pink. And I don't have my pink seam binding right here. So hold, hold up for a second. Let me get my pink seam binding, which I'm running very low on. This is the baby pink. But May is looking into getting seam binding, which will be wonderful. This is the baby pink. I hug snug um, which I'm sure she's gonna start getting because we need it okay well, let's 
let's do a little bow. I'm sorry that this took a little bit longer, guys. I really thought that the three by four cards were going to work um, and that we wouldn't have to do any cutting. And I really wanted to be very prepared for you guys, but you know, doesn't always go as planned. And I'm going to just cut these ends. Lay that way. And this way. Maybe see how cute this is going to look tied. Hmm. And this one and then this now becomes your little oh see i made it too big oh okay all right can you believe this guys <laughs> i really should have checked to check carefully I might be able to just make this put another knot in this and it will work let's see might be able to do just that and get away with it but you know what do yourselves a favor and just check yeah that's fine um do yourselves a favor and check it and i'm going to put this so that it you know shows up but i want it to be i want this to be smaller this bow and tighter um, I'm going to cut some more off. That seems awfully long. Um, but I want it to be behind my little pullout so that you know that they're, they can be pulled out our little cards there. And there's our little witch hat. There you go. There you have it. Is that not the easiest, sweetest little book to make and then when you want to open it you just pull this off now you could have tied a ribbon around it too and then we have all these pages which we could decorate more if we wanted to we could leave blank to put photos on you could take pieces of paper um and cut them diagonally like for an example, you could do something like this, cut it diagonally across the, see that's not big enough, across the uh, page, you know, you could cut it diagonally and then you can have a little tuck spot. Um, you could put a belly band on one of these pages and really dress it up if you want to do something like that. This is just the, you know, the basic little book, but it's just so cute. See, now I want to do all that. Oh, well, you know what? It's not like we don't have time. <laughs> and I have lots of little scraps. So I think we should maybe do a belly band on one page. See, guys, look what you started. I was thought I was done. I really thought I was done. But now I'm thinking, oh, that would be so cute. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We could do it. We could do it pretty quick. We could really make this into a cute album. I'm glad I didn't do the side pocket, though, because I really, I don't know. I wasn't liking that idea for some reason. I thought it would look weird. I know. I know it's crazy, but that's how we are. Now let's see what we can put in there. I have lots of little pieces left. I have this, I have this one. Mm, no, that's going to be too small. Hold on. Let's see what we have. I want to put something in there. I mean, we could just put this oh, I like this idea and this is why it's so nice to have the six by six 
It really is wonderful. Or an eight by eight. You know, having the different ones is so nice to have because you have choices then and you're not like, ah, oh, I wish I could use that, but it's just way too, too big. You know, here, look, I can put that in there and then the little pumpkins I can put across like that. And this is all just from one page. That's what I love about this. Whenever I get a collection, I always um, I always get the other. I'm just making a marking spot here and a spot here of where I want to kind of cut to. Let's see how I do. Hmm. Not bad. I have to cut my point a little. Well, no, actually, I'll just do this. But now, whenever I get a, co a paper collection, perfect. I don't, and you see what I'm doing? I just made a little slanted thing so that we could make a little pocket here. I wasn't going to do all this, guys. But now we are. And I love it. And I'm so happy we are. You know, I have wanted to use this lady. But, oh, wait. Let me look at my ephemera, too. Because I think she is in there. Oh, she's too big in there. Forget that. She's too big. Oh, but I do have a um, look at this. Put the bingo card in there. Okay. Then we have a, a little um, thing there. Do we want to do another? Oh, it doesn't go right. It would have to be this way again. It would have to be the little candy. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, what do we want to do here? We could just put... We could just make a regular pocket there. And then I could move the candy around too. So that it's facing the right way. See? Oh, I made that too small. No. That's, no, I don't want that. Don't want it if it's too small now. See, this is what I get for not measuring. We could make another belly band here. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. Instead of a pocket. And see, I'm just using the paper to... The paper and my scissors. You could be more accurate, guys, and make it better. But you know me. I have to do it fast. Oh, I think, and I might, I might, we'll see. I gotta see what I got in that little goodie basket over there of stuff. That's cute. And now I have, look at, we could put this on there. Cute. Something like that. And then we need a bigger, big but not that big of, of a, something to slide in there. I'm just going to add some glue in the middle of that and put him here. Oh my gosh, so Oh, maybe we'll use this lady now who looks like Bewitched to me, even though I don't think it is Bewitched. I used to love that show. And then they remade it. 
I don't know how many years ago they made a movie and that was just as cute. It was just as sweet. There we go. Put her in there. So there we go. Another couple things. I just need to do something back here because this is a little, this is looking a little bad. I think we need to put, make another one of those pockets. And you saw how I did that. And then I ended up having to trim it up even more. So wait a second. I'm going to use this side. This side is straighter for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to put a little line here. Hmm. Let's see. go. Let's see if I eyeballed it good. Yeah. Did good. Put another little pocket here. Yep. Another little pocket. Oh, maybe this I put a spell on you will fit in there. Oh, that would be so cute if it did. Ah, it's going to be too big. Hmm. What can we use? Um, let me see. Let me look in my paper pad as it's dwindling a little bit. Oh yeah, I do have another piece of this. So maybe we could do pumpkins in there. Let's see. We might have to cut it down a little bit. One thing I like to do is use like every every little bit of paper. There was one thing about this pad that I thought was really interesting was that there were a lot of pages of cut aparts, which I thought was really cool. Okay, now I know I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to make this a lot smaller and I don't think I'm going to trust my eyes on this one, guys, because I think that that probably won't be a good idea. So I'm going to make it smaller and I may have to remove that pumpkin patch, but we might be able to salvage it and put it somewhere. So let's see, because these pumpkins are, the stack of pumpkins is very um, tall. Now let's see, well, we went from a quick and easy project to really making it long sorry i'm so sorry but you could have fast forward through this part if you didn't want to do this so so i'm not that, i'm not that sorry <laughs> now sometimes when you glue something down you have to take your bone folder if i can get it in there and kind of smooth it and reopen your pocket this is kind of still, hmm, is this going to still be too big? No. Okay. It fits. All right. Now a pumpkin patch. Can go. I don't want to do anything with that. I like that like that. I like that like that. So maybe we'll just put pumpkin patch down here. I don't want it up there. Put it down here or we could put it like this if i trim some of it off mm, no i got it then i'd have to trim the no no but i do think this needs a little something so we'll put a little something there and then i think we'll call it call it done i think that's what we're gonna do all right so put pumpkin patch here so cute and then 
Oh, maybe we could use this little guy. Oh, who I love so much. This little guy. Maybe this little guy could go here. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay. Put some glue on that. This is adorable. I hope you guys make these. Even if you don't make it for Halloween, I hope you make them, you know, for... Christmas. I would love to see these done. I would love to see your take on it and what you do with it and what cute things you do you do with it because I know that anything you guys do is going to be so adorable. You know, especially when you have um you know, you're not constrained to the time and you know When you're constrained to time, it's a little bit difficult. I'll put those in there too. All right. Whoop, what happened here with my, there we go. So there it is, guys. Our little book. It's hard for me to see where I am on the camera. Oh, there I am. Okay, so here we go. We open it up to my boo. We have a little thing there, a little pocket a little side pocket and then we have our belly band with some pumpkins we have our sweet cat another belly band with two little things we have another side pocket and then of course don't forget we have our two tags that pull out we have our little witch's hat as our dangle and then let me just put this back on I like to have my dangles and tassels and stuff on this side and I'm putting it behind the tuck things you don't have to but I like it because then you really know that there's stuff tucked in here so look at that is that not the sweetest sweet little project I hope that you guys make them and I would love to see what you make. Share it in the group. Don't forget to go on to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all of your scrapbooking needs. And when I say all, I mean all. She has everything that you could possibly think of. And you're going to you're just going to love shopping there because she has everything that goes with every collection. And that's what I really like. I don't like to find a paper pad somewhere but then need other sizes and have to buy it somewhere else and i think we've all been down that route or you want the ephemera and you can't get the ephemera from the same store and so you're just you know going from store to store paying way more in shipping because you're having to buy from so many different places this crafting on a budget store.com is one stop shopping there is no need to look any further there's glue there's tapes tape there's score tape there's glue there's ephemera there's chipboard there's all kinds of stuff for um mixed media there's stencils i mean you name it she has it you won't be disappointed and you'll be able to get all your shopping done in one one swoop and she buys a ton of each collection which is wonderful and like i said having the ability to be able to not only um buy you know a pad but to be able to get multiple sizes is so important as you can see from this little project that we just did you know the this this page here we had a severely cut down on the pumpkins that we use because this was in the 12 by 12 but i also have a six by six so i could go in there and find these cute little things in there and use those so 
that's why you want to have options, you know, when you're shopping and you're making projects and, you know, you want to get the paper collection and you don't just want the pad. You want to be able to, if you, if, you know, if money permits, if you, you know, if your financial um, situation permits, you know, you you have the ability to buy it all. Now, if you bought a six by six and a 12 by 12 of any Christmas paper that she has and just bought um, blank 12 by 12 pieces like in black or white or red or green, whatever, which she also sells, um, you could whip out probably, I don't know, maybe 20 of these. I would say, you know, depending on how many big 12 by 12 sheets you bought, you could whip easily 20 of these out and have them hanging. And you could just hang them from this little bulb pin on your tree. I mean, it would just be so cute for Christmas. I mean, I, you know, I wanted, I wanted Halloween um, because that's the collection of music right now. But I'm sure they will make one for Christmas too, um, just to give you some ideas and... I, you know, like I said, make sure you're part of the Crafting on a Budget group on Facebook so that you can post your projects. We would love to see them um, and see what you guys are up to as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing an accordion book and then we're doing some kind of a loaded pocket, loaded envelope. I'm not quite 100% sure what I want to do yet, but whatever it is, it's going to be loaded. <laughs> so, um, you know what I'm going to say, guys, until the next time, stay safe, be well, God bless you all, and bye for now.